Good morning. This is Dr. M. Saravanan, Associate Professor and Head, Department of Commerce International Business, Sri Narayana Guru College, Coimbatore. Today, I am going to handle a topic on the impact of recent changes in foreign trade policy. It covers the following topics Introduction, Key Provisions, Way Ahead. The general provisions regarding exports and imports are Second hand capital goods have been allowed import for repair purposes without payment of duty. New or Second-hand capital goods, which includes machineries, plants and equipments, are allowed to be imported at a concessional rate of duty or without payment of duty. New provision for export of restricted goods, which are, however, freely importable, is being introduced in order to develop the transshipment infrastructure. The provision for personal hearing by the Directorate General of Foreign Trade has been simplified, making it a one-step procedure instead of the earlier two-step. The cumbersome procedures, which seems to be irrelevant, are removed and it is made user-friendly. The five different schemes such as Focus Product Scheme, Market Linked Focus Product Scheme, Focus Market Scheme, Agri Infrastructure Incentive Script, VKGUI, merged into a single unconditional scheme named as MEIS Merchandise Export from India Scheme SFIS Serve from India Scheme has been replaced by Service Exports from India Scheme so as to allow the benefits to all the service providers located in India instead of Indian service providers. The scripts as well as goods under both the aforesaid schemes shall be fully transferable. It is similar to that of the DEPB script, the Duty Entitlement Passbook Scheme, where the scripts are completely transferable to another party. Likewise, the scripts as well as goods are completely transferable to a third party. MEIS benefit shall be computed on the basis of free on board value of exports whereas the benefit under SEIS shall be based on the net foreign exchange earned. The rates under SEIS shall be 3% and 5% depending on the nature of industry notified. The import of capital goods under EPCG Export Promotion Capital Goods Authorization Scheme shall not be eligible for exemption from the payment of anti-dumping duty, safeguard duty and transitional product specific safeguard duty. The scripts under both the schemes can be used for the payment of customs duty, excise duty and service act at the time of purchase or procurement. The certificates by the chartered accountant or the company secretary or the cost and works accountant shall be allowed to be uploaded electronically which is digitally signed. 
the key provisions are the provisions related to export oriented units electronic hardware technology park software technology park biotechnology park has been aligned with the provisions of the gst the imports and or the procurement from the bonded warehouse in the domestic tariff area or from international exhibition held in india are proposed to be without payment of customs duty as provided under the customs tariff act 1975 and also without payment of integrated tax and gst compensation cess to ease the procurement by export oriented unit from the dta units the export oriented units can procure excisable goods falling in fourth schedule of the central excise act from the dta without payment of excise duty the refund of gst taxes for supply from the domestic tariff area to another export oriented unit would be available to supplier as provided under the gst rules the restriction of 50 percentage of domestic tariff area sale has been dispensed with new initiatives taken by the government in the future for the betterment of the foreign trade of india which is a clear evident driven policy framework the state of the art analytics unit to be set up would help in the data evidence driven policy making a services division in the directorate general of foreign trade services exports needed a more nuanced approach for penetration into new markets working with the logistics division in department of commerce for a coherent approach this is all about the recent changes in foreign trade policy catch you with another set of topics thank you good day